What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? This is Ken coming at you from Ken.com. I don't know if you can see me or not. Let me see. Can you see me? I think so. I know. Don't worry about what I got around here. This ain't about what's in my house. This is about 1970 Pontiac Firebird, True Phoenix. Wiring. Ken coming at you from Ken.com. Specifically, wiring for from the engine from the engine to the interior. Uh, my car is a 1970 Pontiac Firebird. No wiring, no nothing. It's just stripped, gone. The two wiring things we put together is a 2000 GMC Sierra engine compartment wiring harness. And we'll try to marry it to a 1997 Pontiac Firebird Trans M interior wiring. So, <coughs> what do I have here? I have a mess. Why am I here today? You've seen a couple of videos already on it. Don't pay attention. Don't worry about this. You don't worry about this. What I need to do is I'm going to go get me something to put down on here. Uh, in fact, I think I might even maybe just use this. Let's see if this works. Uh, the main thing is you gotta have a platform working in and an area to do it in. All these toys and even nothing. Toy, I just take them all. This I'm not gonna do anything. I have children's toys. What I'm gonna do is gonna teach them how to throw their toys away, though. They have to learn how to declutter. I had so many toys when I was coming up. As you can see, I'm still playing with toys. So, I'm going to use this as my platform to do the video in. And, uh, I'm going to bring out the, the mess. I, 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 I ain't going to even call spaghetti because it's more than spaghetti. It's something else. It's mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Let me go get it. It's right here anyway. I ain't got to go too far. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? Oh, I started last night. Someone else's. Yes, this is just another one. So, um, it's a mess. This is the switch to allow um, high beam, low beam. The switch to allow high beam, low beam. And it goes. It doesn't go on the foot. <laughs> it's on the steering column. But I might have to make it up to the foot. Because right now I'm not going to have the steering column. I'm going to have the old school steering column. Then we'll worry about this when I get the other column on the car. But I do want to know where it goes and I want to label it. Back in the box. I don't know if I want to put that back in the box yet. Let's see. Let's just put this to the side for now. This is the air conditioning control unit. Y'all remember my other one? I fixed that other one. I fixed it, but this part right here wasn't handling the air too well, and I did not know how to fix it. So I'm just hoping that this one is good enough to handle the air. I'm not going to take it apart like I did the other one. So I'll, I got the hoses for it too, but I don't have a diagram as far as how it goes. You guys hear my children singing. <laughs> so this is 
But I found where this goes. This harness right here, all of this. I found where all of this goes on here. And it is this right here. Anyway, main main thing is I found it. I haven't labeled it yet, which is what I plan on doing today, the labeling and stuff. You know, not a whole lot of stuff, but some of the stuff that I found. Now, uh, one of the reasons why I brought this on today is because there were some areas that I just could not figure out. Like, uh, this thing? Yeah, this. This, I couldn't figure out. I know what it is. This book, this book, this goes to the, uh, the key, the ignition key. And the ignition key goes in one of these things on the side here. And it moves up and down. And as it goes up and down, there's a spring action in there that causes it to snap back. And yes, there are some connections there. But these connections go to the steering column, I know. So this goes to the steering column. This goes to the steering column. These go to the harness somewhere. I have no idea what these things are. But the book will tell me. Once I figure it out. It's hard to figure out. So, as I was going along, I was seeing a whole bunch of wires. This, like I say, that's redundant. Seen a bunch of connections that I just did not have an idea or a clue. Open wire connections, that is. I have no idea where that goes. Go somewhere. Don't tell me. The book will tell me where the wire people, the wire things go. Uh, I need to talk louder. I know I do. So I'm going to talk, start talking louder because my volume is, it keeps getting lower and lower and lower and you can't hear me. But now why this broke? Why that broke that? I don't know why that was broke. It looks like it looks like this goes here. Why I broke that? I don't know. I have no idea why I broke that. But um, there were some connectors here. It looks like this is part of radio here. So I was thinking that this was radio because this is an antenna. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have no idea. None. But I made sure I got the connectors because I have a feeling that these go inside the engine and they come in through the firewall. So I got the connector so that when I'm ready, all I gotta do is disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. This this is a, this is a connector here for somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I cut it. Okay, so um, without going through this whole thing about Bob here, um, I said that I need to identify the wires that I have no connections. Like this one doesn't have a connection. Need to figure out where it goes. What does it do? Need to figure that out. This is the uh, integrated body control module. I'm assuming that some of this stuff come in from the computer. And the computer signals this box to do something to certain things when it receives a signal. This I know is the radio. This is the uh, See, that's a bulb right there. You can't see that. There's a bulb. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Ah, forget it. And this is the back of the radio. I know that's going back of the radio. I don't know what this is. This is some type of. I don't I have no idea what this is. It's going, they're going to tell me what it is when I look at the wire. But uh, I have the electrical. Um, up and down buttons. This one, yeah. This one. It's for the window <coughs> and the door lock. And this one. This is for the passenger side. That's all it is over there. The window and door lock and the passenger side. 
This one is for the, the mirror. So you go left, and then you do something, then you do it right, then you do something with it. You know that's for the mirror. That is definitely for the mirror connector. Someone had went in and tore these out. They took them out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it or not, but judging by the way the other side looks, what I did was I messed around and I found, I think I found it was a Camaro that was on the block. And it has some similar, it's got the window and the door lock. And it also, I noticed it also has the, for the mirror. Up, down, up, down. But this was, come. this came out of a Camaro. So I'm thinking, I'm, I'm hoping that I might be able to use these switches to put here. Although I like these better. So either way it go, I want to find out where these wires go on this harness, if they do or not. Uh, the original, this came out the other car. These came out of the 1997 Firebird. This came out of a Camaro. I don't know what year, but it was a K or J or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure. There's a light. See that little light right there. They all had the same stuff. So they interchangeable. So I'm not going to worry about where these go. There's another. What is this? There's another switch. Another switch. I don't know what this switch is. It's a lock. That's a door lock. This is a window. This is a window. It's got a, this one here has an auto. You click it, it'll go and stay on auto. This is what the other one is. So I'm assuming this door lock goes here like this. You can see that. Goes in there. But anyway, that's not. I'm not worried about where these connectors go right now. The person who took those left these behind. <laughs> so I went to two different cars and got the same plug out of each car. They were both Firebirds. These are both for the driver's side, I think. This is for the driver's side. And only because I had this one. This was intact. They didn't take this one. Yeah, but I have no idea, you know, which one is which. I'm going to guess that I want to start with this one. Because this one looks similar to this one. But I really don't know. It's like a broke or something. I really don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I do know that this looks similar, which this is a window and this is a door lock. This is the window. I can't figure out why there's so many controls for the window. I don't know. Maybe because it's connected to this side or something. So, with that said, because they have similar color wires, I am going to assume that I'm going to try to find the connection for this. Now, this, they're all connected some kind of way. What is for? I have no idea what it's for. I would like to know what it's for. I want to keep them together. This I know is some type of light. It's like on the other one. This, I have no idea what that is, man. None. So somehow or another, I'm going to have to find that on this wire here, on these wires. Like this fat one here. It's the way for me to do I just cannot figure that out. So that's where I am. Uh, when I come back for you later, I'm going to have all of these labeled. Not to say what they actually are, just for the device that they belong to. Because if I take this a loose, I am not... A loose. If I take this loose, I am not going to know where these items come from. But if I leave them together, like grouped up like this, I might be able to hunt and search around on the harness to uh, estimate 
wear on the harness that they may have gone. So, okay, guys, uh, I appreciate you coming by. You know, this is uh, something that I'm assuming that somebody somewhere may be interested in. And y'all take it easy, and uh, maybe we can talk about it one day to see um, what we did to uh, fix our stuff. Y'all take it easy. Talk to you later. My head, <laughs> my neck, my back, my neck, and my back. Y'all take it easy. Y'all take it easy.